Hey, what's up and welcome. This is a bit of an intro video um, for a initial topology and kind of like a lab environment um, for some future projects that I want to upload videos for. Um, I created this uh, topology in Lucidchart. Um, so I'm going to kind of go over the environment quickly here. Um, what I'm calling this VM server is actually really just a repurposed gaming computer. Um, the only major changes I've made to it were um, I added a total of 32 gigs of memory, um, some extra hard drive space, and then also another um, network interface card. So essentially there's what I'm calling ETH integrated here which is just the integrated network card on the motherboard. And then this ETH discrete, which is just another network card that I installed. And then the idea here is that um, I can run multi multiple virtual machines inside of this PC, but I had this idea that I wanted to try um, having some of those VMs on completely different networks um, that actually did involve different physical hardware. Um, so I've got that up and running and that's pretty cool. Um, and I'll, I'll go over some of this in um, future videos. But essentially what's going on is there is a physical ASA um, and a couple of networks that are um, directly connected from a routing perspective. And then um, down here, we've got the Cisco CML2 um, the external connectivity. So um, effectively, there's a direct connection to that virtual environment on the ASA, and then I just simply have a static route um, to this 10 dot network. So any routing that I need to do here internally, if it's destined for the 10 dot, um, it'll just take this um, gig one uh, eight interface and just point to this. Um, to the CML2 external connection. Um, and I'll link David Bombo's channel. He's got um, a bunch of excellent guides for installation of CML2, the external connectivity and all that. And what's really cool about this is, I mean, um, pretty decent initial lab with hardware firewall, um, ability to run CML2, some other VMs, and um, some other actual physical um, computers that are all um, interconnected and, and have routing and everything like that. For some aspects of the networking and those specific cards, I wanted to point out that it's actually pretty simple to achieve that. So I've got VMware player um, for the CML2 VM. And then if I just go into edit virtual machine settings, and then go into the network adapter. You can see that the I'm doing just a bridge setup in the killer E2200 um, network interface card. So that's the um, ETH integrated on the on the diagram here. And then for the other one, I'm in VirtualBox. And so same deal with that one, network settings, I have a bridge adapter and it calls it the gigabit CT desktop adapter and that is the discrete card here. So it doesn't take too much um, to get a basic lab setup going um, with tons of possibilities, as you can see here. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, to boot up um, CML2, boot up this Ubuntu that I have, and just take a look at, um, just to give you an idea of the um, CPU and memory utilization with this basic lab setup. All right, so we got everything booted up here. Um, so right now, out of the Windows OS, these couple virtual machines, um, OBS and everything running, um, we're not even hitting 13 gigs of RAM of the 32. 
and then CPU is going to be generally probably in the mid fifties, which isn't bad. Um, so plenty, plenty of, uh, resources to run this basic, um, lab off of just one, one PC, essentially. The really cool thing that I found, um, with CML2 is that the, um, what they call a desktop, um, VM is actually, um, Alpine Linux and it has this, um, this um, VNC capability. Okay, so the main thing that I wanted to point out here is we do have, um, you know, external connectivity. So I can ping out to Google. Um, so I'm in the CML environment with this Linux, uh, Alpine Linux, and then I've got the Ubuntu, um, VM up and running. So I can get a ping to that. So as I was mentioning before, um, you know, the traffic from this Alpine VM is going out of the CML virtual environment, um, out through the ASA and then back into, um, this VM server. Um, over this other network card and hitting the Ubuntu Linux. Another, and I like to use um, widescreen monitors, and I'll go into this in another video, but um, there is the ability to get a, um, a full, an actual complete um, full screen mode here um, for this Ubuntu, which is which is awesome. I did have to apply a bit of configuration to make that happen because it doesn't work out of the box for this particular um, resolution, but I'll leave that for another video. So yeah, I think those are all the points that I wanted to cover. Again, just an intro video to kind of show um, what's possible just between, you know, um, maybe a PC, with some um, upgraded RAM, couple network cards, some extra hard drive space, um, physical ASA, some other computers and stuff like that. It doesn't take much to have um, quite a vast um, array of possibilities of what you can do, can do from kind of a learning and lab environment ex um, experience. So that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll have some more videos on the way.